It's a full hour of movie reviews for you, and we've got a lot of good movie reviews for you this evening. We're going to be talking about the brand new Venom movie, which my boy Matt Whitworth will be talking about here a little bit later on in the show. We also got the movie Ready Player One, which we'll be talking about a little bit first. But first up, we've got a movie that... uh, I think you're going to be familiar with whether or not you watched the movie or you're familiar with the TV show. We're talking about the Adams family and to help us uh, with the review. Very nice, Matt. <laughs> We've got a great family uh, with us right now. We've oh, got Matt and cool. Jenna Whitworth and baby Whitworth as well. That's yes. right. Uh, with uh, baby Whitworth's very first review. So this is exciting. <laughs> um, first off, did you guys, I know, I know that the the TV show was way, way, way before your time. But did you guys ever experience oh, reruns yeah. and stuff like that? Listen, Nick at Night was the best thing, man. <laughs> Nickelodeon was great. And then, like, at night, they had Nick at Night. And um, Adam's Family and the Monsters came on. And I enjoyed both shows. I was actually more of a Monsters fan when it came to the TV show. Yeah. But uh, the movie, not so much. You know, the Adam's Family movies were more entertaining to me. And about- I didn't see many reruns, but yeah. we had basic TV growing up, so babysitting was when I got to see all that good stuff. Oh, very, very yes. cool. Um, so we got this movie, came out in 91, and the movie is... <laughs> you know, you guys were just little ones when the movie mm-hmm. came out as right. well. But I'm assuming you guys watched it when it was, you know, when you saw it on TV or, you know, VHS mm-hmm. or DVD and stuff like that. So what are some of your highlights of this movie? And are you guys fans of, of this movie? I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, just for nostalgia's sake, I enjoy the movie. Yeah. I like anything with Christopher Lloyd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's he's a class act, man. He is. Uh, for me, the highlight, though, is actually Raul Julia. As Gomez, he was the most charismatic. He was a scene stealer every time he was on screen, especially when he had his mental breakdown. You know, it was a really depressed state. You know? I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, Christopher Lloyd. This was like uh, when Christopher Lloyd was in everything during the, like the you know the late '80s, mm-hmm. early '90s. He was yeah. like in every popular movie, and he plays. Uh, uh, cousin Fester or uh, yeah, Uncle Fester? Fester? Yes, I always get those. We got Uncle Cousin It. Yes, Cousin yeah. It. Same thing too. Uncle Fester. We got a lot of. We got a lot of family in the Adams family for we sure. Yep. <laughs> That's why they have two Ds. Um, <laughs> 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 nice, <laughs> nice. Um, so basically, we've got uh, we've got a lot of different plot uh, points going on in this movie. Yeah. Um, we have uh, what is it, Uncle Fester? He was ast- he's in this movie. He's estranged from the family. Is that right. correct? They don't know mm-hmm. if he's dead or alive. And uh, they have their last, uh, they have their, uh, I guess their um, their will connection, or you know, mm-hmm. coming to you know get more of their family fortune, and then the people that they're indebted to, you know, the, their collectors, collectors, <laughs> uh, devise a scheme to yeah. scam them out of money, the, out of the Adams family fortune, and uh, Uncle Fester uh, is, you know, like he's. Um, there's a lookalike that the mother has, and she's like, "Well, we'll just have him pose yeah. as Uncle Fester," and uh, you know, some you know twists and turns here and there, and um, it's uh, it's a fun like zany plot. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, it, I don't know if it's something you'd see in like the Adams Family movie, but it felt like I think for the most part true to the TV series. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of kind of like one-off scenes where it shows how weird. You know the the, mm-hmm. the family yeah. is to you know the the normal outside public. So you've got those kind of uh, scenes that are relatable to the TV show. Um, this movie is like I would say a little bit darker than the TV show. Wouldn't you guys agree? I with think that? so for sure. Well, it starts off darker too. Yeah. Um, they have Christmas carolers outside singing, right. and then they pour boiling water on them. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's about as dark as you as yeah. you can get, right? Right. <laughs> well, yeah. And then you have the kids who are you know trying to electrocute each other and things like that. Yeah. Which part of me goes, well, you know, Matt and I love Halloween, so yeah. hopefully our kids don't turn out like that. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. So I mean, you brought it up. Are you guys going to dress up like as the Adams family when when the, when the baby comes? You going to give them like give the baby a mustache? Well, and we've already talked about um, when we have two kids. Mm-hmm. The oldest will dress up as Georgie, and then um, the baby <laughs> will dress up as Pennywise from it. So you're welcome. It'll oh be awesome, goodness. right? We should turn the camera on to see Chris's <laughs> oh, reaction. No. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's cool. I mean, parenting done right, but that just, that's, wow. That, oh, man. All right. Um, so let's talk about more kids. Um, in this uh, particular movie with the Adams Family, we are introduced uh, to Christina Ricci, who yes. mm-hmm. had a, or still has a magnificent career, but this is yeah. kind of like the one that kind of 
It launched mm-hmm. her for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah it's career. Uh, like uh, I grew up with her, you know, a little kid, and then Sleepy yeah. Hollow at the end of the decade, this mm-hmm. beginning of the decade, at the end of the decade, she plays a love interest to Johnny Depp in that. So it's fun yeah. to see how much she grows up in between that time, playing oddball characters in very gothic movies. And this isn't, um, uh, well, not, what's his face? Uh, not Danny Elfman for the score. Um, in which movie? In this movie? Uh, who directed Sleepy Hollow? Um, Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Thank you. It's not a Tim Burton film, but it feels like a Tim Burton film. Yeah. More of a Tim Burton family-friendly film. Mm-hmm. It's actually directed by Barry uh, Feldman, mm-hmm. um, and he also directed uh, Men in Black 1 and 3, and he also directed a series of unfortunate events. So he oh, cool. kind of has a knack for that kind of family-friendly, uh, offbeat, like pseudo-macabre kind mm-hmm. of movie. So let's get into that. Um, for people who haven't seen it or want to revisit it, is this a family friendly movie i mean yeah mm-hmm. i'd say so yeah anything that would be suggestive went over my head mm-hmm. and imagine would go over the heads of most kids mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. jenna i mean what do you what do you think as far as as far as age goes um i think obviously it depends on the parent and the, the kids yeah, and stuff and like the maturity that level of the kids um mm-hmm. i think if the kid's old enough and they want to play like the kids in the Adams family, obviously yeah. you need to teach them that that's not appropriate <laughs> and that's actually dangerous. Of course. Um, mm-hmm. But you can get that but, with Looney Tunes too. And that's, that's true. true. Yeah, you can yeah. really get that with anything. But just for families that know their kids like to imitate movies, mm-hmm. that's something to be watchful of. Yeah, don't let them play William Tell with the apple in the kid's mouth, especially. <laughs> but probably, probably not at all. That's probably what I should have said. <laughs> um, all right, guys, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Which movie is better, The Addams Family or The Addams Family Values? Oh, I think I enjoyed Values better, but I, did too. I haven't watched it recently enough to say between the two. Yeah. I probably haven't watched this one since I was a kid until we did this review. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, um, oh, who uh, who's love interest in that one? Uh, Joan Cusack. Joan Cusack. Yeah. She was pretty great in it as the uh, yeah. morbid, but uh, you know, like really pink, happy-go-lucky, you know, sprite kind of personality. Yeah. It always seems like Uncle Fester's bringing trouble into the family in each movie, you know? It's just Christopher Lloyd, man. (laughs) Taxi, Back to the Future. He's always the one at the epicenter of all this chaos. That's right. That's right. All right. The movie is called uh, The Addams Family. And, of course, uh, it's definitely, um, would you guys say it's a Halloween flick? Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So if uh, you're looking for something good to, to watch for, for Halloween, uh, for, for the entire family, this is definitely one to revisit. The Adams Family back from 1991. That's Matt and Jenna. Chris, too. We're part of the screen team. We got more reviews coming your way right here on KWOC.